In this video I'm going to maybe shatter a few illusions about life and consciousness and various things like that. You know, a lot of people are, are chasing mirages. They're chasing mirages in their life where they, they think that one day everything's going to be perfect. One day there's going to be nothing to complain about. One day there's going to be no one to blame for anything and one day there's going to be nothing to get upset about. And the truth is, is that for the rest of your life, there isn't going to be a day that will go by unless you go and, you know, live in a cave or something. That there won't be somebody to blame for something. That there won't be something to complain about. That there won't be something to get upset about. There won't be one day that will go by that if you want to, you could complain about something. You could blame someone for something and you could just get upset and angry about something. Of course. Of course. That will never end. You'll have that. There will always be that possibility every single day to do that. Every single day. Your life will never become perfect. It will never happen. It will, it will just never happen. And that, that can be a scary thought for a lot of people who like to live in denial and, and believe in this, this utopian illusion that they're going to one day uh, just, I don't know, just going to materialize or something. It's not going to happen. So the key is to actually accepting that. The key is actually acceptance. So as you go about your day today or when you wake up tomorrow and go about your day, is go about it consciously. And you'll just see the various things that will happen in your day that you can, you, you'll get opportunities. The universe will always give you opportunities. Do you want to complain about this? Do you want to blame someone for this, this event or whatever? Do you want to get upset about what's going on? That things aren't going your way? Do you want to, do you want to go into this victim role? You, you're welcome. The victim role is there. If you want to step into the victim role, if you want to step into the intimidator role, you want to intimidate someone or the interrogator where you want to, you know, make someone else wrong or whatever. There's all those possibilities. The, the universe gives abundantly. You know, we, we, we all have that, that choice. And uh, so we can do that or, or we can just accept what is. And that is the key. The key is just accepting and, and not stepping into that, 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 that vortex of, of you did this and, you know, and this isn't working for me and... You know, and why does this always happen to have to happen to me? That, that's a state of consciousness. You know, it's just, you know, it's craziness. It's a state of consciousness, which is craziness. Because it's never going to end. That never ends. But you can step out of it. And, and you can choose again. You can make a different choice. Make a different decision. And you get to make that choice every single morning when you wake up. What, what you're going to be and who you're going to be that day. What you're going to do and who you're going to be. You know, and are you going to take responsibility for your life? And, and by taking responsibility, it's, it's accepting. It's accepting everything. And that doesn't mean that we when, we, when we accept everything, that doesn't mean, you know, we're complacent and we don't take actions and we don't look to improve things. N not at all. But when, when we do, we do it in an empowered way. Not, not in a chaotic way. Because we're, we're if we're in a state of blame or complaining or um, getting angry, upset, things like that, 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 that creates uh, chaos, it creates disharmony. You know, we can go about harmonizing our life um, through ex acceptance. Through the acceptance. It has to start with acceptance. It's the, it's the key to harmony. And then go about making improvements. Because in any situation in our life, we, we can do one of three things which is empowering. We can, either, we can either change the situation and go, okay, this situation, I, I don't like this situation. It's not, uh, it could be better. We can improve on this situation, whatever it is, and you can go about improving it. Or you could go, you know what, uh, I, I'm, I'm not too fussed in this situation. I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't feel harmonious with it. I think I'm just going to step away from the situation and then you just leave the situation and the situation could be anything the situation could be a relationship the situation could be a job the situation could be 
um, a friendship situation could be, you know, a, a house you live in or a, 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 a country you live in even, you know, or, you know, I don't like this weather. You know, you could wake up every morning and start complaining about the cold and the wind and the rain every day, or you could just accept it's cold and windy and rainy, you know, and that's just the way it's going to be and just accept it. And that's the way it is. Or you could go, okay, not really into this, um, so I'm just going to move to a hot country, right? Um, so you can either just ac ac totally accept, try and improve it, uh, try and improve it, um, get out of the situation, or just completely let it let it all go and be okay with it. Don't you, so you don't have to improve it. Obviously, the weather, you know, unless you've got some really good cycling powers, you're not going to improve the weather, and uh, you, you're not going to. Um, I'm getting lost. In what I'm saying. You know what I mean? You know, three things, right? Three things you can do that is going to be empowering in any situation. You can either change it, you can just totally just be okay with it, accept it, or you can just move out of that situation. You know, that's the, an empowering way to be, right? The disempowering way to be is to start complaining about things, blaming, getting upset, getting angry, getting whatever. That, that's disharmony. That creates suffering, my friend. Suffering. And there's a lot of people going through their whole lives in suffering it, with this illusion that one day it's all just going to go away. It's all just going to be perfect one day. Life's going to be perfect, you know. And it's, it's not going to happen. It's, it's really not. You have to shift inside. You have to change inside. And you've just got to be okay with things. Because for some people, the biggest... For some people, something can happen and it can just completely set them off and they can just go nuts about it, you know, go completely nuts, get, get completely stressed about it. And for another person, that doesn't, doesn't, they don't bat an eyelid at this exact same situation, you know, exact same situation. You know, some people like you, you bump into them in the street, they turn around, they could you know, have a fight with you. Other people, they just go, oh yeah, no problem, happens, right? So, it, everything's a choice. Every minute of your day, it's a choice. Whether you, whether you want to be in a place of suffering or a place of empowerment. And what I see about me is a lot of people are in a place of suffering. You know, I listen to conversations where people are blaming, complaining. And, you know, you, if you watch TV and you watch the, the, the daytime sitcoms and stuff, stuff like that, the soap operas you get, which I don't do. You know, you, you see it in there. That's, and pe people think, well, that's how you're supposed to live. That's how you're supposed to be. You're supposed to have this whole trauma and drama going on all the time. You know, all this like amateur dramatics that, that people have every day. Oh, you did this and you did that and you did the other. And, you know, this is happening to my life and I'm the victim. And, you know, that's all just bullshit, right? You know, you, you just got to get out of it. It's just a state of consciousness. And you can step out of it once you get that realization um, and just start accepting everything. Accept things as they are, and then you know you can make one of those three empowering choices: to, to try and improve it, move yourself out of the situation, or uh, or just be totally cool with it. Go, okay, this is just the way it's always going to be, you know, and just be cool with it, right? Just say you're in a relationship, you know, and in that relationship, you you just don't like something the other person's doing, right? But you, you're not going to try and improve that person. It's not really generally a good idea to do that. You decided you want to be with that person, you're not going to leave the relationship. So you can either stay with that person and be totally cool with that thing that they do, or you can just complain about it and blame them all, every single day for it, and, and then both of you be in suffering. You know, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? So sometimes it just takes just stepping up, being a bit mature about things, and uh, making that conscious choice to be conscious, right? Let's be conscious. You know, let's not go into that place of suffering. Let's live an empowered life. Let's live in harmony. We can all do it. And the universe will always give us the option not to. We've always got that option. The, the universe gives abundantly. We can have any option we want. But remembering, it's us that chooses it. Thank you. See you next time.